Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Well, um, I'm doing an empties video today, but as you can see, I've been kind of busy decorating. Um, hopefully it doesn't look like a Hallmark channel blew up in my kitchen, but you know, I was just in the mood to decorate and I had fun yesterday. So I'm going to kind of show you what I did. Over here I have my, my one pretty Scentsy Wormer going and... I haven't decided what I'm going to do on top. I don't know. I don't want to overdo it or over bake it, you know, and make it look too wild in here. I got this pretty wreath over here from Michael's the other day, and it was 40% off, so I just couldn't resist. So I'll show you my pretty wreath. There's my wreath. And then behind me, I have kind of a little scene with my... Um, Scentsy warmers, and I took advantage of the kids' toys. I got a cow and calf pair right there, so I just thought, you know, I got the old barnyard scene going on, so, I mean, why not, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, we're going to get back to why we're really here, and that's, I'm going to show you my empties. So I'm going to pause this video really quick and get all of this stuff organized. So this time around, I usually like to start with candles, and that's where I'm going to keep it. I was only able to finish one candle, and it is the Mainstay's Sugared Berries. And it smelled great, but it had absolutely no throw. I was really, really disappointed. And I know there's, I've had some wonderful comments from people saying, put it on a candle warmer, put it in a candle crock, and... You know what? Those are all really good ideas. I'm thinking about purchasing a candle crock, actually. But I also like the aesthetics of just burning a candle, whether the candle throws or not. I mean, I've got this beautiful one back here by um, DW Home called Harvest Nights. It's an absolutely gorgeous candle. I love this candle. I wish it threw a little bit stronger as well. But even so, it's a beautiful candle. This one... Smelled great, didn't have no throw, but you guys, I love it to see a candle burn. I just, there is just something so peaceful about seeing flickering lights in there, and I would rather have that more than anything else. It's just, to me, it's calming to see a candle burn, and especially in a low-lit room. It just brings back wonderful memories, even as a kid, so I don't mind the fact that it it's not really throwing to its full potential. Um, the scent notes on this one are sugared berries. Um, let's see, ripe blackberries. Sugared berries is the title. I do that every time. Um, it's ripe blackberries, sweet blueberries, tart red currants, swirl with plum, cranberries, cane sugar, and vanilla essence. I looked that up online. Now, to me, I just get a wonderful, like a triple berry wonderful scent and I get that wonderful vanilla aroma aroma so I would actually like to try these in the wax melts I think that they would be fabulous so I'm going to give those another try maybe later when my wax stash gets down a little bit but I'm going to give it another try but as a wax melt version all right so I was able to get through well not really but I did a good job on my scentsy brick of ginger and spruce I had, um, I was able to get through two of these slots and it took me two separate times to warm it. You guys, it's really, really, really strong. It's not a Christmassy scent like you would think it would be. Ginger and spruce is more, there is that sprucey scent, that ginger spruce mixture. And to me, it is more like a clean, fresh air scent. This is one that is still perfect for winter time. I I think this you could burn this one, warm this one into February and still be all right. Maybe March. Um, I really like it though. It just really totally clears the air. Um, it's kind of an air cleansing scent to me. Um, the scent notes on this one are, and I wrote these down: towering spruce dotted with fresh ginger and vivid notes of cassis. So, um, it's really, really good. Super hella strong. I would give, on a scale from 1 to 10, this is a 10. Um, 
I still have another brick of this. So probably when I get done with the other brick, I'm going to be really over this. I really am. But um, I enjoy it just the same, but I'm putting it away. It's going out of my melting basket. Another one. Now this one I actually threw in. Um, I'm having a heck of a time sticking with my melting basket. And I've seen from other YouTubers, we are not alone. We kind of all share that, you know, we all share that struggle. We, we fill up our melting baskets and then we add to it, you know. Um, this is sugar cookie. I love sugar cookie and it's in the brick form and it's an older sugar cookie, but hey, it still smells good. I actually mixed it with, um, I didn't mix it, but I, I, most of my warmers, two of my warmers had, um, pumpkin apple muffins and the rest of my warmers in the house one day had sugar cookie and it was extraordinary. This one is super, super strong. This one though drives my poor husband out of the house. Um, so I can only burn or warm two at a time. I still have four more to go. But um, I love this one from Sensationals, you guys. This is so good. But um, it's going back into my melting basket. And this one, I'm just, I'm just going to put it away. If, if I have to pull out sugar cookie again, I will. Sugar cookie from Sensi is just a very beautiful, warm-based sugar cookie. And I love it. All right, now I did go through a scent pod in Scentsy of Go Go Mango. This one took me a while because I use them in my pickup truck and I only use one at a time. And the first one that I pull, I'll put, put a marker on to indicate that I've used that one. And um, I just love this scent. I just, yeah, it just took me a while to get through it. Um, so anyway, Go Go Mango is nice. It's juicy mango. Melon garnished with hibiscus and sweet banana flower. And to me, it's just a wonderful tropical fruity blend that is really, really nice. Um, I really like this one in the Scentsy Pods. And probably maybe someday it'll be a repurchase. Okay, now we're going to talk about some Scentsy testers that I used. I just kind of threw these in my bathroom warmer. And I used lemon sorbet and lemon verbena, and I just put these two together. And it was a wonderful citrusy mix with that verbena. Even though the verbena was the smaller tester, I could smell the verbena leaf. And there is verbena leaf um, in this one. It is bright lime, verbena leaf, and lemon zest. And this one, lemon sorbet, is fresh cut lemon. Grapefruit zest sweetened by sugar cane. So this was a nice blend and I enjoyed it in my bathroom. All right, now I'm looking at my notes because a lot of the times you guys, I forget, I forget so much. And then let's see, what else did I go through? I went through a Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla Caramel, caramel Spice. If I can find it, there it is. Now this one, I'm surprised I didn't run Barry out of the house with this one. <laughs> very, very, very spicy, very strong. Probably not something that I would purchase again. Um, yeah. It, it was just a little bit too over the top. Although the spice is kind of toned down on about day two. But um, I could only warm this when Barry was out of the house working. You know, this is not a good one to be warming on the weekend because... He really does struggle with these. Um, the scent notes on this one are freshly ground cinnamon, spicy cloves, nutmeg, caramelized brown sugar, undertones of rich vanilla, and toffee. I'm not getting any of the toffee. Um, I just got a lot of spice with a tiny back note of caramel. <laughs> and this one was hella strong. This one was like out of one out of ten. It was probably a nine or an eight. Um, and yeah, so that is that one. And then I went through a Better Homes and Gardens Orchard Apples. This was actually one that I threw in to mix once again with my pumpkin apple muffins. Because I kind of needed another backdrop for this one. Because <laughs> it was super strong. But Orchard Apples is good. It's just 
uh, the scent notes on this one are just basically fresh orchard apples. It is so good, you guys. Definitely a repurchase for me. It smells, uh, reminds me a lot of Johnny Appleseed. And I probably won't be buying this one for a while because I still have two more bars of Johnny Appleseed. So I need to use those up first. But I love the picture on this one. This was the older um, clam. Um, they've kind of changed their their packaging a little bit. And you know, I like the older packaging. I like to be able to see real pictures of apples and real pictures of things like this one. So I'm hoping that they keep all of that the same. I know they kind of changed it a little bit, you know, but please bring back the pictures. <laughs> I like the pictures. Okay. All right. So moving on. Um, we have Waxidents. Where are you, Waxidents? This one is called Vineyard, and I'm actually warming this one right now. Um, it is Plump Merlot, Cabernet, and Zinfandel grapes. You know, the reason why I bought this one in the first place is I just wanted to see if the vendor owner could pull this off and make it really smell like wine. And so I was curious. I was really, really curious. And guess what? It really does smell like wine. It does have that essence of wine. But to me, it also kind of has a little bit of a soapy note about it. Probably not something that I'll buy again. But, um, you know, I'm the type of person, I'll try anything once. I really will. And so, yeah, so this was, it was a red snap wheel and I've got it warming right now. Strength and throw on this one out of one out of a 10, you guys, I'm going to give it about a seven and a half to an eight. It's got some strength to it. It really does. Um, and this is day two. When I first put it in my warmer yesterday, I was like, okay, I was constantly, cause it's all throughout my house. I've got some going in this little warmer and I've got some going in this little warmer over here. The little warmer behind me, this, this house right here, that's just, I don't have anything in there. I was just lighting it up for aesthetics, you know, to make it look cool. But, um, yeah, this one is really strong. <laughs> if you're into wine, you might like this one. Um, I'm not a big time wine drinker anymore, but, um, I just, I thought it was very, very cool that Amanda was able to simulate this one very very well so there you go okay and then we are moving on to Scentsy and I think I've got everything so this is the last segment so hang in there with me you guys okay um I went through a perfect pumpkin pear I got this one a few years ago and you guys when I got this it was with the scent of the month kit I got the enchanted pumpkin warmer and I got this with it and the first time the first couple times I warmed this I was not impressed now warming it a couple years later I've kind of grown a really appreciative of this it really smells like fall you can smell the autumn leaves you can smell that air of pumpkin that fragrant air um, you can smell the pear I mean to me it's a really really pretty blend I really really enjoyed it um, the scent notes are fresh pumpkin, crisp golden pears, breeze drifting cloves, and sandalwood. So, and the sandalwood in it kind of gives it that fragrant note. And I don't pick up on any sandalwood, but I think the sandalwood is kind of what ties it together. It's that underlying scent that you can't pick up on, but it's needed. And when I had this one, I also paired it with um, pumpkin parcel, um, jack-o'-lantern. And um, I only warmed a couple cubes of this one because this one is super, super strong. This one is, the scent notes are big old jack-o'-lantern and candle smoke. So I had this warming in a couple warmers and then the rest of the house I had this. And I warmed this on Halloween and you guys, it was perfect. It was really, really perfect. I enjoyed this one. Um, I didn't think I would. It smells better warm than it does, warmed than it does on cold. 
to me, you can really pick up on the candle smoke, but it has a savory note about it. Not a sweet note, but savory. And that is what I like about it. It almost smells like you're cooking something like, I want to say bacon, but not bacon. And maybe it's the hickory smoke or something that I'm smelling. Maybe there's a little bit of hickory smoke in here. I don't know. But April Stevens did a great job with this one. And I'm finding out that Pumpkin Parcel is becoming my new favorite. It's very strong. It's 100% soy. I enjoy her wax. It's just really good. It is really good. It's really strong and powerful. I mean, it doesn't take much of this to scent up your house. And I think that's what I like about it. But um, it's going back into my melting basket. I don't know if I'll be able to get through this in the next session, but it's it's still going into my melting basket. So this, back to Perfect Pumpkin Pear, I'm, yeah, so I have a couple more bars of this. I don't know when I'll get through them. <laughs> All right, and then we have beach. I had one cube left of this. I put it in my bedroom. Um, the scent notes are cool greens, honeydew, succulent, orange, papaya, creamy coconut milk. Um, to me, it just smells like you're at the beach. To me, it smells like you've got this beautiful, not suntan lotion, but this awesome smelling sunscreen lotion, and you're putting that on, and you can smell the ocean breeze. You guys. I have a whole other bar of this, and I'm so glad. Um, this is really, really good. I highly recommend that one. Another one that I went through is Quiet Clementine. This came out a few years ago. It looks like 2018 with the Huga collection that came out around Christmas time. And the scent notes are Sweet Orange, Vanilla Orchid, and Sandalwood. Now, to me, you do get that sandal note. A sandalwood note to me is kind of a musky orange scent it's not a foodie orange it's more of a body care-esque orange scent and almost a hint of masculine note about this this almost smells like this would be something that Barry would wear um, but I really enjoyed it I think this is my last bar from the Hugo collection so yeah so there is that one all right, and then I went through a bar of Rockin' Ruby Raz, and the scent notes are Juicy Orange, Fresh Strawberries, and a Candy Glaze. This one, to me, is just a wonderful fruit punch. I love it. I absolutely love it. <sighs> one of my faves. It really is. It is really, really good. I've got um, a couple more bars left of this, and I'm excited. It's a medium strength, though. I wish it was a little bit stronger but enjoyed that one. Another one is Sugared Strawberry. Um, I was just into some fruity scents, I think, this past round. Um, sugared Strawberry is probably, it's in my top five of my favorite fruity scents. It really is. I love Sugared Strawberry, you guys. Sugared Strawberry is um, strawberries, currants, and lemons. Um, and as you can see, it's an older bar. It's a 2019 bar. It still has the scent of the month sticker. You guys, I absolutely love this scent. I love this scent. To me, it's just a very nice sweet strawberry. And the currants and lemons kind of give it a little bit of a kick, but it's mostly strawberry. So really nice. And then another fruity one that I used up was Radiator Springs. Um, this one, for not being very old, was really, really juicy. Um, I think personally that Scentsy has changed their formula because these are really old bars and they're red wax. They were not this way. <laughs> so I don't know. Can anybody feel me on this one? Um, can anybody understand? This one is um, Energized Lemon, Pink Grapefruit, and Red Cherry. How they put that in order is actually is from top to bottom. There is that lemon note, the grapefruit, and the cherry is very much behind it. It's not a strong cherry scent. Um, so if you have a little bit of an aversion to cherry, you might want to try this one. This one still might be, you know, I enjoyed it. I think I enjoy the packaging more than anything else because it's kind of a collector 
and I love the movies, all the movies that Cars made. I mean, I just, I love this. I've got another bar of this coming in my January um, scent club, so <laughs> I'm kind of excited, you know, um, because I haven't really got on the license bar bandwagon, you know, I've kind of held off just a little bit. So there's that one. And then last but not least, and I don't know how I missed this one, um, is Goose Creek's um, Sugar Donut. You guys, this is amazing. Um, it is so good. I love this one. I am over the moon excited with this one. Um, let me see if I... I know the scent notes are um, dough, um, fried dough. Um, there's a, I can't remember where the scent notes are. I wrote them down, but I can't find them. Um, this is a cinnamon swirl fried dough baked or fried donut scent. This is authentic. This is 100% authentic, and it's delicious. I just wish it was a little bit stronger, that's all, um, but not bad. Strength and throw on this one is probably about a 7, between a 6 and a 7, but I love this one so much that this is going to be a high on my list repurchase from Goose Creek. So, yeah, I love this one a lot a lot so if I had to pick a favorite and I do have a favorite it was between the two sugared strawberry from Scentsy and Goose Creek sugared donut sugared strawberry has won the round before it's a contender it is but this time it had to step down to sugared donut you guys this is one that I would put my name on this is one that I would say if you like sugar donuts and it's not an overpowering cinnamon if you like this one if you like that please 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 get this one or just get it to try you know um just try it it is that good it it, it really is i just i love this one so that is my empties you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i will be talking to you later